your produce guy here. Have you ever gone down to the store and you were thinking, hey, a mango would be delicious? And, or maybe they're on sale and you're going down there to pick up a bunch of them. You get there to the display and every single one of them is green. And you're thinking, ah, oh, I've got to wait like a week or 10 days before I can eat this thing. Not so. I've got for you a delicious green mango salad that you can make. It's a Vietnamese style green mango salad. I picked this recipe up from Chef Michael Natkin and his food blog, Herbivoracious. You need to check that out. He's got some great recipes there. We're going to use his Vietnamese green mango salad here today. Now I've started out by squeezing out a third of a cup of fresh lime juice. We're going to put it in this jar here so it makes mixing easier. The next ingredient, we've got a, a two teaspoons of freshly grated ginger. Now to grate that ginger, you want to be sure to peel off that brown outer uh, skin there and then once uh, once you grate it why it pulls out it's a very fibrous sort of root and so you get all the uh, goodness of the root without the fiber by grating it so that was two teaspoons that went in there now to that we're going to add some toasted sesame oil now that's different from your regular sesame oil you'll find the toasted sesame oil in the Asian section at your supermarket I've got a teaspoon of salt that goes right in and then I've got three tablespoons of honey now in Michael's recipe he uses sugar we're trying to stay away from refined sugar here so we're going with the honey his recipe uses four tablespoons of sugar we're going three tablespoons of honey because honey is sweet enough all right there we go we get that all in there and we're gonna give that a nice shake just like that and we're gonna set this aside all right while that uh, sets up and marries a little bit we're gonna start with uh, our next ingredient which is a red onion now we're going to make some thin slices. This is a half a red onion we're going to use here. And we're going to make some very thin slices of this onion. And then what we're going to do is pop them in to some cold water and let them soak for just a little bit. What that will do is uh, all the onion juices and everything that uh, come out as you slice, they will be rinsed off in the water. It will make the onion less uh, pungent, uh, more mild by doing this um, so let me get this done and into the water they'll go all right while those are soaking we will start on our mangoes here now there are what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut these mangoes into little strips or even uh, batons you might refer to them as matchsticks that sort of thing so what I'm doing is I'm giving it a little peel here on one side and <clears throat> there are several ways that you can do this one is if you don't have any tools other than your knife you can uh, cut into the fruit with your knife like that and then shave down and get little strips that way that's one way to do it another would be if you have a mandolin those are a very nice piece of kitchen equipment they're a slicer and they have a dicing setting you can just run the mango over them and that will do but I have here a little tool that gives me shreds little strings of, uh, of fruit or carrots or whatever it is that I'm working on and I'm going to use this to get our our little uh, batons or bits going here. Got our mango uh, all shredded up. That did take a few minutes and you can tell whether your mango is too ripe or not if you're getting juice all over your hands as you're doing the shred up. It's probably a little bit too ripe but you can go ahead and once you're that far into it go ahead and, and finish the job. Uh, I've got here uh, a Thai chili that I picked up at the Asian store. You can use this or you can substitute a serrano pepper or a jalapeno pepper uh, which are available in most places. I'm just going to uh, slice that into rounds. The upper part I will cut in half and just chop that up a little bit and that's going to go in our final, final salad. 
All that's left to do is to drain our onions and toast our sesame seeds. I've got a tablespoon of sesame seeds that we're going to toast and add into the salad and it's ready to dress. So let me get to that. I'm ready to assemble the salad now. We'll go ahead and toss in our drained onions there. Uh, let me get our Thai pepper in there as well. Now uh, my toasted sesame seeds, I've done those just over the, over the heat. Uh, you want to keep a close eye on them because they will turn quickly. We're going to reserve a few of them for garnish on top. And lastly, I've got some cilantro leaves right here. About a handful of them, or a, uh, it's close to a cup right there. And now let me give that a little toss get those ingredients mixed and then we'll dress the salad and give it one more toss. Give your dressing a quick shake right before adding it to the salad. And that is done. And that looks beautiful. We're going to go ahead and plate up just a little bit of it here. This makes four servings. It is a vegetarian dish. Uh, you put the sugar back in it instead of the honey and it's a great vegan dish. So that just looks beautiful right there. Let's go ahead and have a little taste of that. That is heavenly. Oh, that is so good. Just the right sweetness delicious mango spice from the onion and the pepper oh so good and a little bit of cilantro flavor there that is wonderful great little appetizer salad delicious and you don't have to wait a week to use your green mangoes that is so excellent well i can't wait to go ahead and finish this so we'll sign off now thanks for being with us i am your produce guy be sure to check out our mango playlist for more mango videos Thanks for being with me today. We'll see you next time. Remember, fresh is best. You just want to line your, your cutter up with the seed in there, and this is so slick. Just like that. Look at that. Two halves of mango.